Ladies and gentlemen, pronouns of all ages. Welcome to Victorum. I'm your host, Flagmouth, and I'm glad you're here. So, this game was just released today. I saw a trailer for it on Reddit, and it looks really cool. It looks kind of like uh, Red Faction Gorilla's, like, destruction thing, but magic-focused. Which, you know, that just sounds all kinds of cool. So I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna get this game, I'm gonna make a video on it, and hopefully people are gonna watch it and enjoy it. So, we're basically just going to be using the starting character. Like, insofar as there's character customization, it's it's fairly fairly basic as far as these things go. But I, all I did was change the corruption glow, which I think is this color here. And we're going to name him... Let's see. Bob. No, that's not distinguished enough. Robert. Alright, we've got Robert the Firebrand. Starting with fire magic, you can start by default with three separate ones. You can start as the Firebrand, which gives you fire magic. The Frostbound, which gives you ice magic. And the Tempest, which gives you lightning. That's, you know, seems pretty fun. But I'm just going to start with fire, because who doesn't like exploding things for little to no reason at all? Chapter 1. Stretching the limits of his power, Robert, the last known Victorum, survived his own execution, but his body was warped with corruption, which explains the glowing tattoo. His mind flickered with the horrors he saw above and within the depths of the miasma. The Inquisition must have detected the burst of magical energy he caused. It would not be long until its endless armies were upon him. That doesn't sound very good. The wage of the Grand Inquisitor was marked by red nexuses on... It. Is that Nexi? That might... Maybe that should be Nexi. On his map. He was responsible for what happened to Robert and his order, and since he did not listen, he would burn for what he had done. Alright. That sounds like a measured and appropriate response. Here we have options. Apparently there will be later options. Sort of like in FTL, you go to different Nexi, I guess. And you're presented with the ability to either accept and go in and blow stuff up, or to move on, which I don't know what that does. It was unknown what awaited the Victorum here. Well, let's, uh, let's fix that. The Fort of Munat had been around for a while. The crater in the mountains sheltered it from the worst of the storms and ravages of the world. Robert was a little surprised to find such a stronghold here, but it would not matter. Even with the armed guards and stone walls, this fortified town was little more than an inconvenience. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go storm the castle then. So this should be interesting. We're playing on medium difficulty because, you know, why not? I'm gonna guess that these fellas here are less than friendly. So you hold the right mouse button to open this menu where you can augment your spells. And then you accidentally shoot them off, which is not what you're meant to be doing. There's a bunch of people over here, so... I'm gonna throw that at them. I'm going to miss all of them. That's fine. That was just a warning shot. I don't think I've killed a single one yet. This is going fabulously. Do you guys mind dying? Bam! This is going great. I just want everybody to know. This is going great. So... Uh, I did manage to kill everybody. Did not manage to keep commentating while I was doing it, because the controls are a little bit difficult to uh, to get used to. But you know, that's fine. The important part is, I killed all of them, and the only damage I really took was from when I held spells too long. While you're charging up spells, your mana bar decreases constantly. And if you let it decrease to empty, then it'll start draining your health instead. Now that's not good, because you really don't have any way to regenerate it other than health potions. Fortunately, we can force door. What door? Oh, that door? Not that door. All right. So what you do is, to find health potions, you need to loot buildings. This building... I'm no expert in the field of architecture, but I suspect that they left a few things out. Little things, like a roof. There is apparently a door here. Is this a glitch? Or am I just really stupid? Anyway, once you head into the building, you switch to first person, which is pretty handy. Hi, how's you doing? Uh, just as a demonstration of my godlike power. That, yes. So you know what you're dealing with here. Keep out of my way, and, uh, and we'll be fine. By the way, you have any health potions? I'm looking for health potions. Look, okay, you keep doing that, and I'm beginning to suspect that there's something wrong with you. Oh. Leather gloves. I've apparently already got leather gloves, that doesn't surprise me. I have no idea what any of these terms mean. Fair warning, you may wish to clear out of here. This is a game about breaking stuff. I intend to showcase the capabilities. 
First, we're going to deal with uh, these gentlemen here. Catch that with your face, please. All right, lady. You have till the count of five. One. Two. I'm bored. It wasn't quite five. Okay. Back off. Yeah, the falling debris, by the way, can kill you. Can kill you quite easily, in fact. Which is exactly what one would expect from a several ton chunk of lumber and masonry falling on top of your head. But yeah, look at that. Broke that building. The debris does decay. I say unnecessarily because you can see it happening, but... Which makes sense. You don't want to have that many physics objects just kind of sitting around. I didn't break any of this stuff. Which is kind of upsetting to me. Let's, uh, let's, let's remedy that. There we go! Now it's busted! Oh, fragments really nicely, too. I don't think your stove is supposed to look exactly like that. I don't see the lady's body anywhere, so therefore I'm forced to conclude that she left. Yeah, she definitely left. She wasn't killed or anything. I don't murder innocents on my YouTube channel. No siree. I'm a very nice person. Although this fire is still here. Which begs the question, if I get rid of this place and don't get killed, will that fire also still be here? Is there a crouch button? Can I climb into this? I kind of want to use this. Can I bar this out? Apparently you want to be careful with the unstable debris because it might, in fact, just start screwing you over. It doesn't look like the fire... Definitely does not look like the fire stuck around for that. I'm just going to wreck all of your furniture here. How many basic fireballs? Like, uncharged quick fireballs does it take to, uh... Bust down this wall? Or is it just not going to let me do that? Wow. Okay. <laughs> well. That happened. I totally meant to do that. I've actually learned a vanishing spell. And I just, you know, I just wanted to show it off. That's good. Okay. That was exuberant. This is what happens to those who oppose someone who controls the secrets of the universe with their mind and a book. Observe and tremble, mere mortals. Oh, look at this. This is a very nice-looking fort. No, like, legitimately, I like the way this fort looks. Unfortunately, this ain't that kind of game. Oh, shit! All those buttresses, just... Active mage defense. Look at the architectural mastery here. All those buttresses are gone. They're designed to fragment outward and become deadly flying shrapnel. Okay, I wish you wouldn't do that. I wish it wouldn't do that. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to look at the settings and see if I can get it to, like, leave objects lying around. My computer can probably handle it. Okay. Uh, oh, jeez. Hey. Dude, I was in an options menu. Calm your jets, you. I see you. Don't think you're safe in there. Matter of fact, you know how unsafe you are? I'm going to bring that tower down right on top of your head. How does that feel? You must have had a very bad time of it in there. Not that anyone can tell. See, this I like. I like having all the physics. I don't like them disappearing. I wish there was an option to fix that. I don't know. Maybe it's an engine limitation or something. I don't know. I'm not a game dev. I don't know anything that I'm talking about. There appear to be... I, I'm pretty sure somebody just shot an arrow at me. Dude. Dude. Very rude. Come on. I would suspect there will be soldiers along shortly to check on, you know, why that tower disintegrated, as well as why everyone outside died with horrific screams of agony. Uh, not seeing them yet. Oh, hey, speak of the devil. Hey, dude. That is how you throw a fireball. Actually, scratch that. This is how you throw a fireball. What am I hitting? Are there invisible things that I'm hitting? Yeah, look, see? That's how you do fire magic. Not going to lie, I'm much better at it than you are. Here's the thing. We have a teleport spell. You notice I can press Q, and I think that's just on... Yeah, that's on a pretty short cooldown. Now the question is, can I teleport up here? I can. Awesome. Is that that guy? Is he still alive? Oh, that upsets me very greatly. He's hiding behind this building, too. 
Don't hide behind that building. Can you? Are you putting holes in your own wall trying to get at me? If so, you are a very stupid individual. Okay, so this just kind of clips into the wall here. The graphics are not the best. We, we cannot tell a lie about that. The graphics are not the best. You see that popping in there on the battlements? Those little, uh, crenellations or whatever you're going to call those. Greebles. Stone greebles. That's a real word. But, you know, that's fine. I'll take the destruction over the graphics any day. But it just occurred to me, I can teleport. Less privileged individuals will have to take the stairs, therefore it would behoove me to remove the stairs. Yeah. I don't think we'll be having any company up here for a long time. Although I wish I knew where that pyromancer was. Dude, come on, just make this easy out For all of us. Something about wizards being subtle and quick to anger. Well, I don't know about subtle, but I'm rapidly running out of patience. Are you in this building? Little pig, little pig, let me in. This game is really fun. I think there's a guy over there. That is not what I meant to do! Oh, hey, I found the dude. But no, that is not what I meant to do. I did not mean to release a spell there. The controls are a bit fiddly. Lots of gold. Wish I could pick up this gold. That would be nice. That would make me very happy inside. I bet it would be really impressive to blow that up from the inside. In fact, I think it'll be so impressive. I'm going to do it. Hey, you. You, yes, you. No cause to be alarmed, citizen. I am just going to steal your stuff. And then probably blow up your house. But seriously, don't be alarmed. Alright. Boop -a doop Stand back, sir. The wall... The okay. I might have noticed an issue with some objects not responding to explosive destruction in exactly the way that they should. Everything in there's gone. The, uh, the chimney kind of disintegrated. Are we just gonna watch the, uh, walls pop out here in a second? Or no? Hey, guys! Don't stand so close to the wall! <laughs> Something might fall off and hurt you! Who the hell is this guy? And perhaps more importantly, is this destructible? It is indeed. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to leave the bridge in the middle untouched, and I want to tear off both sides of it. Is there a guy over there? I want to blow up that side of the tower. That was underwhelming. <laughs> just shattered like glass. Which then just makes it absurd when everything just kind of pops out of existence. So I cut what wall? There was no wall here. Walls are a thing of the past. They were outmoded months ago. I am King Explosion Murder! How dare you exist in my presence without paying tribute? No, seriously though, I'm gonna collapse this bridge. We gotta target the, uh, the supports. Boof. Okay! That was a little more dramatic than I had planned, but, you know, I'm not gonna complain. Look at that, that was cool. Oh, crap! Dodge everything! How the heck did stuff in there go flying? Game. Game. Please. In order to progress, at least past this level, and I think past most levels, you have to destroy these tower things that connect to the Nexus, which is how you're going to teleport out. Now, fortunately, I am quite good with the destroying things thing- TELEPORT OUT OF THE WAY! That was close. That was very close. So now I can leave, I'm pretty sure. Who is the lord of this castle? I demand to know. I didn't mean to do that. Bear with me one second. We just better make sure that the Inquisitor knows exactly who he's messing with here. I don't have to devastate everything about this place's military infrastructure. But let's face it, it's pretty frickin' fun. Fire. Death. Misery. See, like, there's three different ways you can... You can modify your spell, at least for the fire spell. I mean, there's... Cause it, there's other modifiers, and certain modifiers only work with certain types of spells. So, you can go high velocity, which functionally just increases your range. High Explosive, which increases your destructive power, and Multi-Shot, which is fairly self-explanatory. I'm talking very quickly because I was running low on mana. That did it! Oh, look at it crumble! It's like a giant cake! Cakes crumble, right? This is fun! 
is just good, clean, simple, homicidal, destructive, explosive fun. <clears throat> Everything my Sunday school teacher warned me about. And I found a health potion. It's lying on the ground. Which I am not entirely certain is my fault. But let's face it, it probably is. Makes Make the roof collapse again. Man, that'll be really handy. It's just, oh, did you run into that building to take cover? Oh, oh shame about the roof. You know, you really ought to update the building codes around here, man. Never know when a wizard is just going to pop in and go, you know what, you, I don't like your face. I'm going to remove your face from existence to satisfy my selfish desires. Though there was little essence to be found here, the firebrand did scoop up something valuable lying on the ground as he passed through. Yeah, it was a health potion. Or it was... Some scrolls. Or maybe it's just like, okay. Local records indicated on that day a god of magic rained down destruction on the mountaintop. Yeah! Understatement. Robert was a destructive force of the area. The devastation on this mountain can still be seen to this day. Well, it happened five minutes ago. I damn well hope so. But you know what? That's going to be the first episode here. If you liked it, please be sure and hit the like button. I would love to know. Or tell me what you thought in the comments. If you're watching on VidMe, hey, follow the channel. Upvote it. Comment again. I like to hear from people about how much they love my videos or how much they hate my videos. You know, I'm not terribly picky. I'll take what I can get. But anyway, if you're still with me, thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll catch you later.